Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our webinar series, Embracing Change. Today is week four of our uh, series of eight steps to discovery. And uh, we have the honor and privilege to have Michel Gollet back with us today. Thank you, Michel. Thank you for being with us. I can see you. you're, you're well-equipped in your studio, Atletica. Uh, I like the outfit. Uh -huh. So thank you, Michelle. Oh, yeah. uh, I didn't realize that, sorry. <laughs> no, it's perfect, it's perfect. So those, those who visited you um, physically, um, you know, in, in Geneva, right? They had the honor and privilege to be with you physically and many others who are on the call and around the world have had the honor and privilege to do a review with you. And I think today let's kind of move through that. Why are we doing that? 36 hour biometric you know data collection using the Garmin watch and the belt and what is you know why the gut why the brain why the auto autonomic nervous system the innate immune system so let's go really step by step we've got a good hour but of course we'll try and keep some space for q a so let's start very simply maybe autonomic nervous system does that sound like a good start what is it what's the function why does it matter you know what what is it all about? Okay, the autonomic nervous system is the, the very old part of the brain, and the, 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 the primitive brain, we call that the reptilian brain. And this is the part of the brain that is in charge of adaptation. It's, it's, it's the one that gets all the information from all the receptors that we've got from all our senses, from all the joints, from all the gut information. He gets all those, in, that, those information and he tries to adapt to, to, the, to, the, to your, the environment, being the outside environment as well as the inner environment. So that's to me, the, the autonomic nervous system is the center of health. Because to me, the definition of, the, the definition of health is, is adaptation. If you're able to adapt, you, you're healthy. If you're not able to adapt, you get a disease or whatever it, it can never happen to you. Okay. So that's the, the function of the, that's why the, the, and we call it autonomic. Uh, the name autonomic nervous system is because it doesn't work with the, the, the rest of the brain. It doesn't work with the, the cortex, the cortical input doesn't have anything to do with, the, with, with it. He does his own thing. Okay, so okay, it's independent. So that, it's not correlated, it's not, Interdependent, or there is. There, there is there, most most of the the cortical the the cortex can have inhibitory effect on the on the autonomic nervous system, but it cannot activate the, the cortical the cortex can not actually activate. So that that's the the, the the main things is that it really works. Uh, the, the, the autonomic nervous system really puts all together the information between the outside and, and the and, and inside of our body. So that's why it's so important. Okay, and sure. now, yeah. for, for, for a long time, it was, we knew autonomic nervous system, but we didn't have any clue how to measure its activity. We didn't have any clue uh, what it, how it was really working. And now little by little, we, we're discovering how it works, what kind of tasks it, it does, and and how, how important it is. Okay, so let's start. You want to start with external. You want to start with internal. You want to start with the importance. Uh, what, 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 let's talk about uh, what's, what's next. So, so maybe, uh, so maybe we sh should since since the, the kinetic people are using the belt and recording. So maybe we should explain what we are uh, what we are doing when we do, we do the recording. Well, okay. Uh, actually, the autonomic nervous system. Is is uh, connected with ev every single cell of your body is connected to the to the to the to your atomic nervous system. Okay. So, but we are using the heart as an indicator of what's happening in the in the in the brain. Okay. Your your heart rate is is um, is under control of both the sympathetic system and the parasympathetic system which are the two parts of the, the autonomic nervous system. Okay. And the, the, the art has, has both innovation of those two systems. Okay. And Can you explain actually, the two systems for those who don't even know what that means? What is parasympathetic and what is sympathetic? 
so the parasympathetic system is a system that helps you to recover, helps you to build up uh, storage, to, 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 it's the, it's the yin of the Chinese medicine, okay. uh, as, as compared to the yang that is sympathetic system. It's, it's that, that reality yin yang, it, it can apply completely with the sympathetic and parasympathetic system. It's exactly the same, the, the same data. The, what is, what is considered yin is parasympathetic, what is considered yang is, is the sympathetic. Okay, so and, one is rest uh, and recovery, and the other one is action. What's the other one? Action. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's the two action. Uh, action and uh, facing uh, stress, danger, whatever is the sympathetic system that takes care of that. Okay. Okay. So okay. Now... So when we do, when we take, when we take, uh, so so when we use the the, the heart as an indicator. Uh, we've got, we, we've got the ins at, at the at that instant at that moment with the, we can measure the balance between the two systems okay. and the system during the night uh, since there is all the, the cleaning system in your in your body the, the, during the night the parasympathetic system should be very high okay. and during the day with the stress of the day with everything going on the sympathetic system should be dominant. So when we do the recording of the 36 hours to have two nights and one day, it tells us what's going on during a day, which, what is the amount of stress that person is, is on, in his job or in, in his life, and how he's able to cope during the night, how he can, he can recover and, and so forth. Okay. So, because so that's, the, the, that's the, base, the basic thing. The, the basic. So we're recording everything. Okay, you're recording the sleep. I understand rest and recovery. You're recording when they're working, when they're eating, when they're exercising. When they're, all of it, right? So when, when they're exercising, yeah. So so, no, so we know exactly what 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 is the stress and the recovery abilities of of, of somebody. Okay. okay, which is very important because the the as I said, the health is adaptation. And the, the stronger is your 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 autonomic nervous system is the stronger it is, the healthier you are, the better you're going to be able to adapt. Okay, but now when we when we speak to most people, they talk about the the stress side, managing the stress side. They don't talk about like top yes. athletes. I know you work with a lot of the big tennis players and hockey players. They don't talk much about the rest and recovery. Can we talk about both? Because the focus has been on the stress side through the meditation to reduce, you know, even though meditation is to do cleaning, which is rest and recovery, they think it's about the stress side. Can you explain both sides so people understand? To me, to me, to me, to me, to me stress is normal. Okay. We, you know, that if 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 you don't have uh, if you don't have any stress, you are dying. Yeah. <laughs> we need stress to live. So, so the uh, so the, the the question is how much stress and how long and exactly if it, how do we cope with it while doing there is the stress? But uh, it's also more importantly how we recover it. How we recover from it. Okay. And uh, and uh, my step to the the uh, the my system is try to improve the the, the recovery part. So to to be a as free as uh, we should all be more, more, uh, very concerned with what doing and take the time for everything during the day. But there is always time during the life that where it's not uh, always possible to, to really uh, be able to, to have everything under control. It's not that easy to, uh, during the day. If you work with the, the family life and, and difficulties of life, uh, it makes sometimes uh, times difficult to, to deal with the stress during the day. But we should try to make sure that at least during the night, the recovery part is doing, is doing, is doing well. And so you don't create the disbalance between the, the, the sympathetic and parasympathetic system. If, you, if you've got a good balance, then you can deal basically with everything. Okay, so you're saying, if we have a good rest and recovery, we're safe, irrespective of whether we have this healthy lifestyle of, you know, the movement, the, the food and all the elements, but the rest and recovery yeah. is dependent on all these pieces. So now let's talk about the exactly. pieces that, that impact the rest and recovery. Because on one hand, we say, let's have the rest and recovery so we can deal with the stress. But there's a lot of pieces of that day to day that impact the rest and recovery. Exactly. 
Okay. So exactly. what are those pieces? Like, let's maybe. So, 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 the, so the, to me, the, the main pieces that affect will affect the sleep and recovery is exercising during the day. Exercise is key. Uh, exercise is key to to build up a strong circadian circle. You know the, the 24 hours clock in in a, in a tongue with that the 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 circadian the circadian rhythm is key to 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 have a, a strong circadian rhythm is key to uh, for recovery okay. and exercise is very important to to to, to build that system. Okay. Uh, so when we talk about exercise, there is either there there is a different kind of exercise. There is activities that will have a tendency to build the parasympathetic activity, uh, uh, power, and there is activities that will build up sympathetic power. Yeah. And actually, we should have both, right? Because we want to have, okay, we want to have a strong parasympathetic system because it's the one that helps you to recover to deal with everything. But you also have, uh, want to have a strong sympathetic system in order to be able to face the, the, the huge uh, the, the amount of stress that you, you may have in your life. Yeah. So you've got to build up, uh, the key is to build up uh, physical activity program that, that are well adapted with the, the, the autonomic power in terms of how much parasympathetic exercise you give and how much sympathetic exercise you give. Now, what is the parasympathetic, uh, what are sympathetic uh, Exercise. activities, exercise? So parasympathetic activities are low intensity, low intensity cardiovascular activity. So that means that would be walking. That means if you, if you run, uh, if you, you're able to run well, uh, you could run at low pace. Uh, you, there is all, the, all the, it's always the, the, the low low intensity is very important. And actually, to me, it's very, in every program, if you do sport three, four times a week, which, which would be already, ideally, it would be to do everything, every day something, uh, one hour. That would be the ideal world, right? Yeah. But if somebody does it three, four times a week, he should have at least uh, half, of that, half of that time, he should, he should have uh, low intensity exercise so being walking or slow run and also physical activity like uh, like uh, low intensity yoga low intensity uh, exercise that that require um, full body uh, exercise yeah. Uh, swimming, swimming would be good. That where you move, you you develop coordination. Coordination exercise is key. Is sympathetic, a parasympathetic um, activity, and is key to bring some information and low intensity information to your brain that translates that in parasympathetic activity. Okay. Okay. So that would be the the the, the and. Over one week, you should have at least fifty percent of that the, your amount of exercise that should be uh, directed to that. Okay. Then uh, you should have another. Uh, you should have twenty five percent if you're healthy. Huh? If you if you uh, if you're sick, then it, 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 that portion would go to seventy five percent low the intensity. The, the 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 less in shape you are, the the more parasympathetic activity you should put in your program. Okay. The the, the balance the balance sheet in, uh, according to the to the, the to level of health. Okay. And but somebody that is uh, normal health should have fifty percent of parasympathetic activity. Should have twenty five percent of sympathetic activity. So sympathetic activities are high intensity. Okay. Uh, cardiovascular workout, very strong uh, strength must, uh, workout, uh, doing doing really doing maximum uh, maximum output. Okay. Ma maximum output that type of exercise. Okay. Uh, so so then then you you you, you develop you develop the, 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 the sympathetic system. So playing okay. squat, playing tennis is that okay or exactly. that uh, squash, uh, squash uh, tennis, tennis. I would put tennis in the the middle portion, the twenty five uh, percent in between between the low and high. Tennis is average because we uh, squash would be definitely uh, squash. Badminton would be definitely high intensity exercise. Okay. okay. 
Okay. Because the, the time of recovery are short and and uh, and the, the, the intensity is much uh, is much greater. Okay. So and the, the, as I said, the third the the, the, the other twenty five percent would be medium pace, okay. uh, where you where you feel comfortable and tennis and w- would be would be good for that. Tracking maybe would be good. yeah, I guess it'd be in between. Okay. But the, the, the track the track uh, issue the issue the track and field the you 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 it's always a question of speed, yeah, and distance impact. and and recovery time in between set. Yeah. You can uh, if you give a lot of time of you can do something very intense, but you give a long recovery time, yeah, then true. then the intensity is not so high. Uh, so that's where we, we, we are playing with that. Okay. The, the, that's the way, if you want to give high intensity exercise, you, even with people that are very, uh, have a low uh, autonomic power, okay. you got to give them high intensity, but we play with the distance, the time. You, we can do only maybe 20 seconds at full speed. Okay. And with, uh, with uh, quite a few lengths of recovery, and then, then you've got your I input, yeah. uh, but without getting to, to the body too tired. Yeah. Okay. So we've got the, now the physical, the physical side for sympathetic, parasympathetic. What other okay. elements impact the automatic? The, 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 second, the, the second one is, is the gut function. Huh? Okay. The, 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 the 90, the, there is 100 million neurons connecting the, the, the reptilian brain to the, to the digestive brain, uh, which is the gut. And 90, 90 million of those neurons are coming from the gut going to the brain. Right? Those are ascending fibers. The vagus nerve is bringing input from the gut to the, to the brain. And it has a huge, uh, huge impact on the function of the neuro, uh, on the autonomic nervous system. Okay. And so the and it impacts it impacts through what? Uh, it impacts through uh, if you have inflammation. The, the main thing that will will turn uh, turn down the autonomic uh, autonomic nervous system is really inflammation. If you get get information due to leaky gut, due to anything, that there is no way you can you can well adapt <coughs> way with uh, with information in your system. Uh, it it so that means if, as soon as you've got inflammation, it means that the the gut the, the, the gut barrier, the intestinal barrier is not tight enough yeah. and there is the too many things that too many things that get in your system and that create an overload on on the on your innate and acquired immune system that leads to inflammation okay so, and it's so the leakage so, that creates the inflammation it's not okay yeah the, 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 you want the stress if you've got only this what we call this biosis which is uh, not hundred percent well, uh, good my uh, intestinal flora. Uh, if which almost everybody, nobody's got a perfect intestinal flora. It does not exist. Uh, but for most people, even if it's not hundred percent, it creates some small issue. But they stay locally. They okay. stay within the gut, uh-huh. and you got to realize you you got to realize that within the gut. Is outside our body, yeah. Huh? The, the the gut, the, the gut is outside of, uh, is, is is not inside or side. It's outside, because the, the inside the inside is as soon as it, it, you cross the, the the intestinal barrier. Otherwise, it's just a tube, and the tube is uh, coming from the mouth on the outside. But it's not it's not inside our cell. So you can keep you can most people can keep a lot some small dysfunction within the gut, and it does affect locally the the, the functioning, but doesn't doesn't spread everywhere. Okay, so how does one uh, know whether you have a contained, more or less healthy gut versus not a contained, healthy gut that's creating inflammation? So so the the, the first sign is that inflammation. 
It can be it can be micro information. And, uh, it can be very low grade information. But as soon as you you start to have information, it means that there is something that 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 creates uh, that goes wrong. And the, uh, and also as soon as you've got uh, uh, some some kind of food sensitivities. I'm, I'm not talking. I'm talking food sensitivity is not allergy. Allergy. Right? It can be sensitivities are already enough. As soon as you get food sensitivities, it means that you get something that that are coming in your system that shouldn't be there. Okay. 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 So that's so uh, that's uh, the. How do you test for the inflammation? It's blood tests. It's it's uh, stool. It's a, it's a blood. It's a blood test. Okay. And it's, 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 range, it's, and I've I've done the whole range with you. So it is that whole. It's, it's, System of blood range. It's, it's the, the, exactly. There is, there, is a, there is few indicators. The main one is CRP plus. Okay. That is the, the, that's the main that's the main one. But there is a, there is a, uh, uh, five six other indicators that shows that something uh, goes wrong. Okay. And uh, actually, um, yeah, that that would be the, the, the main things between something local and something that can spread. And so, then when yeah. when when is spread, when is spreading. Then the, the, the first thing, once it's spread from the gut going inside, it, it would go in the bloodstream. Okay. Then we, so then we can evaluate the, the oxi oxidative stress that oh. is produced within, within the blood. We try to measure the oxidative stress in the gut. We try to measure the oxidative stress in the blood. And then we, we go in the third compartment, which is the oxidative stress within the cells. Okay. And so we we do another we do analyzing of the three compartments to try to figure out uh, where is the main problem and what we can what we can do in which compartment to to add the functioning. Okay, and and so let's say okay on one hand it's all good like I came to see you you gave me the two different supplements to take right the powder and the liquid, and it was a complete different experience in that three months right. Foods mm -hmm. that I was mm -hmm. sensitive to became, I wasn't sensitive anymore. Now, yes. is that the normal process? Are you seeing majority of people needing to do yeah. that? Or is it the other way around? Am I a minority or am I a majority or am I in between? As I, as I told you, uh, you're a majority because most people, we, uh, we don't have a proper bacterial flora. From the mouth to the other, to the end, there is uh, quite ninety-five percent of the time some some uh, something that are not working properly, okay. and so we can always fix. Uh, we, 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 if we fix those, then it's okay. So the majority of the cases, it's it's quite straightforward, like like you did with me. It's not a complex um, no. process. No, yeah. and 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 if if there is a complex, if there is a it happens that uh, sometimes people have stomach issue and then they've got a colon issue. They, 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 they can have it. There is people that have with complex uh, findings that when, when you test it, they, they think the whole system is, uh, is screwed up. <laughs> and then, but then we, we always choose, we, we always choose one or two IRA. We work on those two. And we know that by working, on those two that it, it will already improve the other one yeah. and then then we'll see if we still have to do and then the timing also we also try to to go from the i always try to 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 get the oldest dysfunction uh, the, the, the the first usually i work with the first the first area where, where where the symptoms were because then again it's always adaptation once the one when one, one part is not working well the rest of the system, we try to adapt to make it work the, the best it can, right? Okay. And so, the, so you just have to, to, to try to figure out what is the oldest. Quite often, I always try to work first with the, the symptoms from the upper the digestive system by knowing that if I work on the upper digestive system, I will already affect the, I would already produce change in the lower. So I use the, the either the, the, the the anatomical uh, part, or is it the older, the older symptom? Yeah, but it's and then we like even it. when I had even pre-cancer, one of my core symptoms was acid reflux, was heartburn. Yeah, exactly. I was one of the core symptoms that um, even when I spoke to Dr. D 
and he had never known me nothing when I just he he without started talking about those symptoms first, which was quite interesting that the gut was the first thing they talked about before anything else. You know, you, you cannot you cannot you cannot have um, heart disease. You cannot have, develop a cancer if you don't have inflammation. And if if and and ninety percent of the inflammation come from the gut. So if you if you if you take care of the if you take care of the gut, your chance of de developing a severe disease, including a neurodegenerative disease, yes. not no no that I have been linked hundred percent to 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 get dysfunction. So the, 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 really to to manage the, your your level of uh, inflammation in the gut is es essential for health, yeah, I mean, and I is see. essential, yeah. and is essential for the function of the autonomic nervous system yeah no, because i did the cognoscopy remember when i i did it for the dementia side right and it was unbelievable yeah. to see the parallel between what you were testing what they were testing and and you know it, it was it was like it fit like a glove it fit perfectly exactly. like a glove you know and of course they had a few more tests because of the genetics but at the end of the day it was on parallel you know really literally it was you know right hand in hand so, okay, so now, so we've got the physical side, the activity, we've got the gut. Is there anything else that, um, mm -hmm. that, that we need to, that is impacting the autonomic nervous system? Okay, so then if you go, if you go uh, towards the stress, the, to get back to the stress management that, yeah. that uh, if you've got a mental, mental issue, Call that mental issue being working stress and being whatever stress it is. So then, then that part, um, if if the cortex get tired, if you get exhausted, mentally exhausted, then then the inhibition, the inhibit, inhibitory activity of the cortex on the autonomic nervous system won't be as good. Okay, what does that mean? Can you explain what that means? So 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 it means it means that. The inhibition means that it, the, the cortex keep under control the, 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 the autonomic nervous system. Uh -huh. If you if you if you are exhausted, you lose the control. So at the beginning, the autonomic nervous system will be overactive, overreactive. Uh -huh. Then then the patient will feel great actually. For for quite a while, the, the patient will, once you do uh, take away the control of the cortex, the yeah. patient will uh, will be able to do uh, not feeling tired. They will be able to do uh, a lot of things that they, they feel great. Okay. But at the end of the day, the the the, the autonomic nervous system will also get exhausted. Uh, okay. And and then and then uh, so the, you may have. Uh, at the beginning of the, the, the exhaustion phase, actually you, you get an overreaction and you feel that the autonomic system is much stronger, okay. but it's getting very quickly exhausted. And then you've got symptoms of low sympathetic and low parasympathetic power. And then if you keep going in that direction, you get you get uh, into burnout stage. You can uh, you can call that uh, depression, you burn out, or whatever you want to call it. It's, okay. it, it, it's just it's just a, a sign uh, that the autonomic nervous system is not able to respond properly because it's exhausted. It can be both. If it's a sympathetic system, then you you won't deal well with stress. And then if if the the autonomic nervous system is, is very is exhausted, it's not going to be able to create adaptation to, to your to your system and then quite often then you you even you, you would even develop more gut symptoms if you develop more gut symptoms you create inflammation and then you get the heart disease the cancer and etc yeah so now what about yeah they're typing in what about the um number three oh he's talking about the neurocortex he's, he's asking what's number three exercise gut and then he's talking about it. Couldn't hear what you're saying. Yeah. Then, 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 then that would be the importance of meditation. And every other, every other way. Myself, I'm, I'm not meditating, but I, I love to walk. And uh, myself, I, I, I go for one hour, one and a, one hour, one and a half uh, hour walk 
in the woods in the morning and that's and, and that's my um, that's my meditation of the of the day i feel i, I like that and I, i love to be in touch with nature i like to be outside uh, it, it helped me to forget everything that uh, that i live and then once i've done that it's meditation or, or whatever way well, it can be it can be listening to music it can be painting it can be there is a, a lot of ways to 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 get to to, to come down the whole system so and everybody's got to find his own way okay. and so the, so that, that that would be the way to 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 make sure that the cortex is put together and has a good a good uh, inhibition on on the on the autonomic nervous system yeah so now you when you were talking about the leak you talked about an innate immune system what what does that mean what's innate immune system okay so so innate immune system versus acquired immune system okay when you go do when you do when you do a blood test to your gp okay uh, and it is taking your white blood cells it's taking all your all, all the regular blood check and, uh, it's it's a, it's a, It's a measurement of the activity of the acquired immune system. Okay. Okay. But yeah, and this acquired immune system is the last immune system that uh, animals like uh, like human have developed over the time. But before before developing all that that system, uh, from between the the evolution there they were all the species being the vegetables uh, uh, fly or whatever they all have immune system okay they everybody's got a system to protect himself okay. and the, the and the, so the the innate immune system is is an immune system that has been that evolution bring from the beginning till uh, till now and then we create the acquired one So the innate immune system is based on what? It's based on basically on receptors, okay. receptors that are lining the the skin, the gut, the the, the long the long mucosa, and especially the gut since the gut is 300 square meter, and so it's, it's a very large uh, area for the for the immune system. So there is receptors that, and. The, Those are those receptors. We share it with the apple. We share it with the fly. We share it, and so and those receptors are able to 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 get information from your environment, okay. and then then it will create some some react local reaction that would would protect us. Okay. So that's that's very important. That's very important to to have that, and most of the, most of the, those receptors. Get information from the bacteria that are on the skin, in the lungs, or in the guts. The, the good is when you when you get a proper um, bacterial flora. That means those the, the bacteria that are are known for thousands of years in human. We we live in we live in symbiosis with those bacteria, and so they may actually we we made friends with them. At the beginning, they may have been dangerous for us, but then, then since they are uh, prevalent everywhere, we make friends with them, and so the, those bacteria send messages to the receptors of, of the of the gut that will tell us the states and will help to produce mucus and help to protect ourselves. So, so the, 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 it's very important to try. To me, when I do the blood the regular blood test, uh, regular blood test. I see it as I'm not so much interested in in the level of uh, of, um, uh, of activation of the acquired immune system, but to me, if the acquired immune system is activated, it means that the innate immune system has been overloaded with uh, with uh, and it was not able to face with the. The, the load uh, yeah, of this function that he has to be support. So, so, so it, 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 it's telling me that yes, there is before before any inflammation, you see some change in the in the in the red blood cell count and then the, the 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 regular blood test, and then we know that we've got we, which stage we are. 
It's also helping us to, to, as we were speaking before, to tell us if it's localized, contained in the gut, or, uh, uh, or spreading a little bit. Okay, yeah, we, so, as we talked at the beginning of the. So when we talk about rest and recovery. Um, where does breathing, like sleep apnea and the breathing side, how, how does that come in? Or is that a separate conversation? No, it's not the same. The, 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 in breathing, we've, the, we've got the inspiratory muscle and expiratory muscle. Uh, normal pneumology are always work, uh, testing the, the, the expiratory muscle, which is in, the, in my in my mind is is the, the wrong choice, because inspiratory muscle have direct connection with the with the um, the autonomic nervous system, and uh, and if you if you work actually to if you do high intensity breathing exercise. If you do very high intensity, you will have a, a sympathetic activi activation. And if you do slow and deep breathing exercise, you will have a parasympathetic simulation. It's another way to, to, to have uh, yeah, uh, sympathetic and parasympathetic activation. Again, high intensity, uh, the, the, when you, if you do a, a run that is quite heavy, quite heavy run for a while, then you, you will have to, to activate your inspiratory muscle. Uh, Michelle, we lost you. Okay, encourage um, those who have questions, if you can put them into the chat while, oh there, Michelle, you're back. You disappeared for a bit, Michelle. I'm here. Yeah, you're back. Yeah, no, no, you, you, we couldn't, we couldn't hear you for a couple of minutes when you were talking about. So you're saying that okay. that the people who are doing the two different exercises, we're building the ex, the expiration and the inspiration. So what, what's the, you, you're saying that they're measuring only the exhale, right? Yeah, the, the normal terminology they always measure the your ability to exhale. Yes. Uh, but the, that's the, the, those are the inspiratory muscles that are actually connected to, to, to the autonomic nervous system. And the, 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 the work you can do with the, in, with the inspiratory muscle is much more important than the expiratory one. Okay. So you, and again, if you do low, deep uh, inspiratory inspiration, then you will have a, a strong parasympathetic uh, activation. If you do very heavy uh, uh, inspiratory movement, then you will have a sympathetic activation. So, so where does the sleep apnea come in? That's what we're talking about, right? We, we talked about this to the sleep apnea. What, 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 what is that doing? Is it they're not getting enough inhale? Is that what's happening? When oh, it's not, it's not, it's not the, uh, sleep apnea, Sleep apnea, there is two two, pro, two potential problems, right? The first one, uh, which apparently is the most common one, it represents 80% of the time. The, 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 the problem is more uh, airflow issue. The, okay. That means the, because uh, we, we, with civilization, we don't chew enough. The the, 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 the the jaw has a tendency to go back. And when the jaw has a tendency to go back, then it will it affect the airflow coming in. So that's the, the most people with sleep apnea have, have problems with air that does not flow in. It's not a question of uh, freedom, rhythm of uh, inspiration or expiration. It's, it's that they just cannot bring the, the air in. And it's, it's more prevalent people that are overweight uh, because of the weight and the evidence to, to, to put everything on the, down like that. But it can be, so that's the most common one. And that those are the ones that get the, the machine, the side tap to, to, yeah. to try to force the air in. Yeah. And then there is, a, there is a minority of people that, that have ap apnea because the, 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 the central nervous system does not 
give enough impulse to to to, to the nerve to to do the breathing. Right. So then, then that would be that would be a neurogenic uh, apnea. Uh, apnea. Okay. And and those neurogenic apnea, if you do proper stimulation, proper activation, proper exercise, then then I think it's it's uh, right. you you can it's very easy to to to, to re-stimulate and re to recreate and to make it functioning pro pro properly. Okay. And so, and even okay. even with even with the, the sleep apnea with the from mechanic and force. You can this uh, instead of using the, the side pad, you can also use um, uh, what do you call that? Um, guard. You mouth put guard. in your mouth. Uh, yeah, mouth guard. Uh, mouth guard uh, that can that can help to, to to the flow to get in. So you you don't necessarily have to have the big uh, machine. That uh, uh, I, I think all people should almost try uh, the, try the mouth guard before getting the machine because the machine is. Uh, is quite uh, inconvenient to uh, to live with. Huh? Okay, so based on, I mean, you've been doing this for, for many, many years, you're dealing with a lot of top athletes, you're dealing with a lot of executives, you know, all, all people from all walks of life, right? So what are you seeing? I mean, is it the gut that's creating the most issues? Is it the overactivation of the cortex? Is it the, the lack of physical activity? What, what is it? What, what are you seeing that's really driving the lack of rest and recovery over this whole cycle, right? Of gut brain, gut brain, sleep. What, what, what do you say? I, 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 I would say, I would say 40% physical activity, 40% gut, 20% uh, over mental overuse. Okay, so that's, that's the breakdown. Because, 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 because knowing that if you do physical activity, knowing that if you do uh, have a proper diet, uh, the, the, mental, uh, the mental overuse will, will come much later. Uh, okay. Because if you do physical activity, you would be able to deal with, with stress 10 times better. If you get a proper gut, you would be able to deal with stress 10 times better. Okay, so that's why you're seeing that less, okay. Now, in terms, of, in terms of in terms of improvement, if if we we were to choose from the three areas, which let's say we had issues in all three, what will be the first one that will give me the highest return? The the, the one we choose is the one that then that's it's a, it depends on the personality of the patient. Okay. okay. Yes, you get you got to adapt you got to adapt to the person. Okay. Uh, the, the the adaptation has to come to go from the person. There are some people that uh, some it would be very easy to make them uh, doing exercise and to modify the exercise and, and and you would have right away a very strong uh, improvement due to the physical activity. Some other would be to to change the food. Some other would be to to meditate. Uh, so that that you really have to adapt to the personality of the person. But and, in terms of medically, then, like medically, what would be like if somebody was equal in all three areas? I know it sounds ridiculous. What would be the highest impact, or is there no specific? Is, is it the guts creating more havoc? Is it the lack of physical activity creating more havoc, or they're all equally interdependent and relevant? To me, to me, they are all independent, uh, equally in the, in the, in the equally important because the, again if you do physical activity you you activate the the autonomic nervous system which which in terms will improve gut function if you if you try to improve gut function you will you will improve the the, the autonomic nervous system function through that and uh, so to me you can go both ways and no, the way you press the, the press the program prescription with the same findings, if, if I've got the same findings with two persons, they won't have the same program because it will depend on the ability on the ability to change also. Adapt. Yeah. Yeah. And because they, for some people it's easy to change the way you eat, and some other people would be uh, very difficult, and uh, and vice versa. So you, you you've got to go for, for success. So you've got to to make you take one or two steps in the right direction with things that have the least impact on the life of the person and hopefully with the strongest input. Uh, so that's, that's, right. the, the, that's the, 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 to make you, you get to try to make it easy to the person. Yeah. 
Oh, 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 as as easy as possible. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put it this way. Because you you still have to demand some some difficulties. There is still some difficulties. Huh? Yeah. So. In terms of, okay, let's take a question while, while, and I know we're going to keep going. So I'm a mental health professional, so I know how to help others with the mind. I'm curious if there's a book that is written that covers all three areas for holistic health, exercise, gut, mind, with a focus on automatic, autonomic nervous system health. Hmm. Okay, let's think through with what book and then we can come back to. I don't, I don't see there is a, a single book with that, but you get books uh, on on the the effect of gut health on mental health. Uh, it's very well uh, documented now. The 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 way the way the 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 way the the the, the this bio this biosis impact on your mental health uh has been well documented there is a lot of book on that on on gut brain access and uh, the gut brain access there is uh, there is lots of book on that now yeah, and even, the effect of the, yeah even the person i did the cognoscopy with they've written books um dale okay. dr dale who's found the the one who's found mm -hmm. the solution for alzheimer's he has a book that talks about all three as well mm -hmm. I'll, yeah, I'll send yeah. it over so so now um Let's, let's talk about sleep, right? So we have this notion that we hear out of Harvard and all these places that seven to eight hours is the optimum amount, amount of sleep. You know, myself personally, I look at getting five sleep cycles, which is seven and a half hours. And of course, I've been tested, it's different. But what is what are you seeing? I know that we've had, I mean, we've worked with people who are sleeping four and a half hours of proper sleep and getting the rest and recovery and others who are doing a lot more and not getting it. So let's not talk about them. But what what are you seeing mostly? Are you seeing the balance, or are you seeing a lot of imbalance? Well, the, there is huge imbalance, uh, and and uh, uh, and to me, even the one that are, uh, even the people that are able to recover in four or five hours, they should be they should be careful yes. to to get enough sleep because over over the times so over years. Uh, it, it may it may not be that way uh, forever, and especially the one that are able to sleep within uh, to recover in four or five hours. It means that probably at that time they don't have that much uh, that much gut issue that will affect the the oh, okay. the, the, the autonomic nervous system. They may do enough exercise, but as soon as soon as you you change your habit. As soon as you there is there is modification and uh, and to me the, the 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 best example is the the young couple that uh, they, they they decide to have a kid and then the kids come the the, the 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 both of both of the couple were doing exercise three four times a week uh, but now the the guy he wants to go home to see his kid which is great uh, but he also has to work because he's, he's at the age where he's got to make a, get a good position within his work so he's working more he's exercising his ass he's getting the sleep the baby doesn't sleep at night within within one year one year after of that uh, what, what do you think happened <laughs> it's, it's clear it's clear that the balance the balance would be uh, would, would be uh, would be in danger so and then, 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 then that's that's normal life. Huh? It's, it's normal life for, for most of us. We all went through that. So, so that it's true that it's important that even if you're able to 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 recover in four or five hours, you take it. Okay, that's great. But I'm still going to try to get the good habit to to do the right things to to try to keep that as long as I can. Because you know that that sleep issue, sleep issue is the most important thing. All the people the sleep, they've got more and more sleep problem with age. Huh? The, it's rare that seventy years old is, are never able to do, to go through one night of sleep uh, at once. So the, 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 that's really that's really the big issue. The, the sleep is really a big issue. The older you get, is the big issue. But, and it, for most but the excuse is the prostate, right? The issue, the issue is that my prostate no, is enlarged. Is the bathroom is that real, or is it is it because I'm not getting REM sleep? 
No, no, it's the, the prostate thinks is because you can go to the toilet and go back to bed and you won't even see it on the, when I wake up. There is people who are going to the bathroom during the night and when I read the, the, the sleep at night, I, I don't see it. And, and, and uh, because because they, they when they go they just go while they are sleeping, <laughs> and so it does not affect the sleep. But no, when you get the the older age, the the main thing is is, is chronic low grade inflammation. When when you get older, the the, the, the tendency to create low grade inflammation is much higher. Okay. There is change in the, there is major change in the the microbiota. The, the 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 type of bacteria that you get in in your in your gut is changing, and this does affect a lot of sleep. And most of the time, the people are not doing as much exercise, physical activity that they were doing, uh, or they do it, uh, or they do it uh, most of the time differently. Uh, the the older they get, the more they do it at low pace, which is good. But we we also need to the high pace. Huh? And all the people should push them for a short period of time. They should push themselves to, to try to, to reach high intensity because you need that to, to keep your, the strong sympathetic system as well. And all, with all those factors, there is a, the, the, sleep, the sleep is the first victim of all that. Okay. So, I mean, a lot of them start taking probiotics. And I know that's a whole, whole webinar on its own. Um, you know, other than obviously doing the full review with you, right? I mean, so one is, you know, the, the, the low-grade inflammation, right? So where are most of this low-grade inflammation coming from other than the gut? Is it coming from somewhere else because of the no, aging? So the change of the microbiota okay. will change, the, will, will change the, the function of the innate immune system, which okay. will create an, uh, inflammation. Okay. So, and you're seeing this at what age? 70, 80, 60, or there's no age? It depends on the life the person has. You know, the, if, if the person had a quite healthy life doing exercise, it, it, it's, it's quite late in age. And if the, the lifestyle was not uh, as good as it could, then it's, it's much sooner. Okay. All right. We have, we have now seven okay. minutes left. What, what elements did we not touch on, Michelle? I mean, we touched on... Uh, the digest, you know, I mean, you talk about the digestive brain. Is there any difference between what we spoke to versus the digestive brain in terms of communication? No, the, the, the digestive brain uh, and innate and innate immune system to me is basically the same because the, 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 those are, this is the, the it's, it's synonym. It is a different way to look at the. Uh, as one way, one is one one aspect is to see it as a as a. Uh, stimulation of the immune function, and the other one is to see it as a as a, as an organ that uh, send information for adaptation. Yeah. But uh, is actually we shouldn't call that innate immune system because it's it's just uh, uh, it's, it it does not affect only the immune system. It affects the the, the yeah. all receptors of the system, which, which leads to information to the to the autonomic nervous system. Okay, so let's let's spend the last five minutes a little differently. It felt like we did a lot of defense, right, in this whole conversation about protecting yeah. ourselves. Let's talk about the top yeah. athletes that come to you, the number ones, number twos of tennis and yeah. ice hockey and those guys. What are you doing to take their game to the next level? Like, what are the tweaks that you're doing with them so that some people, because I know some people on the call are very, very fit, and, you know, they're already, you know, not so young anymore, but they're fitter than ever. So, so the, 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 for those athletes, yeah. they've got uh, they've got to recover. For instance, if you do a night recovery, when for for a normal person, we we aim to recover one hundred percent of what we've done the night before. And for most people, it's very difficult to get the one hundred percent. It's it's already uh, difficult to get there. But top level athletes. Uh, they are able to record to, to recover 250 percent to what they've done the, 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 the day before. That means that means the training, the load that they put on themselves the, the night the, the, the day before, uh, we let them we let them to, to go even further the next day, because they are able to recover from one day to the other, okay. incredibly two or three times better than the good person, normal person. Uh, 
So, wow. the, the, so, so it's, it's just amazing the, the difference, uh, the, the, the change in physiology of top level athletes versus uh, even good, good athletes. Huh? Uh, between top level and good, it's, uh, it's two different worlds. Oh, really? You cannot, so... compare, uh, you cannot compare good athletes with a top level athletes. It, they don't, the, the, the ability to recover, the, the ability to perform, is, the, the coordination quality is, uh, is, is 10 times better. It's just, it's just amazing the difference. So, so uh, and for those people, for those persons, the, the top level athletes, uh, there is two things that you are, the, the two main things that are very important is to, to try to prevent overload, right? Overuse or overload. So the, so the, 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 the trickiest part in, in professional sport, uh, professional sport is that they do too much, they, they, they do way too much competition. They do, they, there is way too much, too many football games in a season for a player. There is way too many tennis match tournament uh, for a tennis player. Uh, the same for all the sport because they are professional. They want to make money, but uh, to make money, they want to perform. They, they've got to have more and more. So, and there is, it's impossible for them to be on top all, all year long. You, you've, got, you've got to have rest prior to, during the year. So to, to me, the, 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 the most important task when you get the, once you do the measurement, you see that that athlete is performing, performing very well in all the aspect of your score, then you really have to sit with that uh, athlete and to say, okay, now, what are the must of your season? The really, where you must peak, where you must be, yeah. be on top. Yeah. Then you, you, put, you put those areas there. Then, 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 what are the most second most important? Then the third most, and then you develop you develop a strategy where where you, where you get to have rest period uh, a few weeks before the top top important most important place, and and then and then you've got to sacrifice some of them. Uh, you've got to sacrifice saying, okay, you're going to go there. You're not going to be in the, the best form of your life. You're going to do the best you can that day, and that's it. But it's it's not important. So the the, the main the, with top level athletes is to keep trying to improve the, the small details that you can you could uh, make 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 very little improvement, but really to to set up the good program of the year. That's that's the most important thing. But then you take that parallel to a a very successful CEO, right? Why it, it, it's it's similar, right? or not uh, it should be similar to uh, is that happening is are there enough i know we've sent you some i know you're doing a similar program but how many are willing to look at life as game you know game time rest time game time rest time right uh, in, sp in sport in professional sport we we know that yeah uh, it's, it's not always it's part of, but for instance uh, I, I used to take care of all the ballet dancer, okay. the, the the big big ballet bejar bejar things. Okay, and um, and for dancer, they don't consider themselves as athlete. They are they are arti oh. artists. They are and they are they consider oh. themselves as artists. Oh. And <laughs> artists, they, they don't. They, uh, you, you get to spend. Uh, so much energy to try to convince that before doing at least they are, they are athletes and but they, 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 they've got a, it's so difficult to 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 take them to to uh, to accept the fact that they should rest sometimes the, in in ballet, ballet dancing the, the 10 days before the the, the first the, the first show that's that's where they do the most yeah. they do six seven and they they, are, they get uh, on stage, most of the time they are exhausted, okay, so which is the opposite. Which which is the opposite of the, the athletes. Which they will they will the, the the last week before competition they will they will take it off. They will just do a small small uh, a small exercise to to keep the quality on top, but really try to recover as much as you can. Uh, so there is there is a lot of people that don't they, they, they don't see the, the, the point to, 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 to rest and activity they don't see it the same way okay so it's 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 a whole okay so they're not able to understand because 
when we train, they talk about you're an athlete of life, right? When you're yeah. when you're living, exactly. right? The yeah. whole space. Exactly. So, but, that, that should be that should be like that. Yeah. But, but hey, Michelle, uh, they, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. We at the end. No, no. But go ahead. What are you saying? Please. No, no. The, uh, and uh, also, uh, just uh, one last example. The, for instance, uh, the, the, there is also very wrong habit within within each sport. There is always uh, uh, that ways to train that are, are there for generation from generation. Yeah. For instance, if you take tennis players, tennis players most of the time they do the training, and then at the end, then uh, then at the end of the training, the player would take a big basket of ball and. Would, to do 200 serve because he's got to practice serve. And so the, the, those athletes do every day at the end of the practice 200 serve. But 200, uh, normally serve is a very explosive is a very explosive movement. So that means after four or five serve, you're getting tired and you cannot achieve a proper serve. And they still do 200 serve when after five, they're already tired. And so most of the, the shoulder problem that, that uh, the tennis player have is just because they, they are not able to, to, to switch the ability to, to do the serve within the, the training. They do 10 serve, then, then they, they do 10 times 10 serve, they do the, the number of serve, but yeah. they don't put themselves in, 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 they don't put the shoulder in jeopardy because, because of doing too, too many you know, at-ons. And so, and, 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 from, and from generation from generation, it stays because it's the way it, it, it has always been done in, in tennis. In football, it's, it's, it's always other pattern, but the, 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 and because your coach has been doing the, done that to, to, for 20 years, he's teaching the same thing, even if it's wrong. It's probably the same for board meetings. It's the same thing for, for, for exactly. other meetings. It's the same thing, the whole concept of, 90 minute cycles, right? Operating in 90 minute cycles. How many actually program their day with gaps within the 90 minute cycles of knowing that this is working on the business, in the business, my time, our time, you know, all of those pieces, right? It's the same thing you're talking is let's learn from this exercise of the top athletes. How can we get the rest and recovery beyond what we need today for tomorrow? so that we already have the cushion for tomorrow, right? It's just like when you save money, right? You're saving money for the rainy day. How are we creating the buffer within our bodies, whether it's the gut, whether it's the physical health, whether it's the cortex, to be able to prepare for, okay, some of, you know, we're not all of us- For, are for, for, the, vi for the virus that is coming, <laughs> for the, for the, for the, for the Yeah, it's, it's exactly that, it's yeah. exactly that. Yeah, no, but that's, so, so basically, okay, Michelle, so just to recap, I mean, we talked about gut, we talked about physical, uh, physical activity, we talked about the cortex, we talked about the innate immune system and the importance versus the acquired, right? And the acquired is a reflection, shows us the, the pressure that's going on. And you're saying it's, you're seeing 40%, 40% and 20 on the cortex, right? And, and you're working with people based on their agility to adapt to get the highest output right with the least amount of resistance that's that's how you're working it through yeah. and that's what brings the success of pretty much everyone we've sent to you has 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 come back with a very very different quality of life but you know by the slow changes that they've made right so yeah. in closing what what would you like to suggest or 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 nudge the people who are who are listening um as before you say goodbye so to, to me, everybody should remind that the most, the most interesting person in, in, in your life is yourself. Okay. And you should take care of yourself before taking care of anybody else. Wow. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. I mean, and uh, let me throw that back at you. Are, are you practicing what you preach? <laughs> well, pretty much. Yes? Pretty, pretty much. Pretty much. Okay. I, I also made improvement. We, I changed my my working time. I changed. No, I, I did. I did a lot of. I did a lot of things. Maybe not enough, but uh, uh, but uh, no. I'm trying. I mean, the 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 the, uh, the concept is to try every day to try to make it a bit better, right? So you, you cannot change right away. They, you got to keep your personality. You got to keep to stay who you are. But uh, 
take take uh, take the time to think about yourself. So I'm glad that you're one of us, a work in progress, huh? and that uh, you continue to be challenged by the day-to-day -day life as it comes. And but what's important is that you taught us today the the importance of agility and the components of that as it impacts the autonomic nervous system and the importance of it, and that um, we should you know not be overwhelmed by it, but create this whole, you know, living the life yin and yang, parasympathetic, sympathetic, rest recovery, game time, and that we should not, we should relabel the, the impact of stress and focus on the rest and recovery and not just the avoidance of stress, which is what a lot of people are doing with, you know, by, by, by going into the blame game. So beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you for your time today. And of course, being part of our, our wonderful, um, you know, eight step process to self discovery, um, you know, helping us to help families and, and individuals know where they are from that whole gut brain sleep perspective. And um, so I wish you a good rest of the day. I know it's now only uh, two, two o'clock for you. So you still have uh, the other half to go through. All right. So thank you. Thank you, everyone. For being here. Sorry? Thank you very much. No, no, thank, thank you. you very thank much everyone for being here. And uh, we'll see you next week um, as we come back with Kathleen to do step number four of the eight steps to discovery. All right. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye.